I remember seeing on the news devastation brought on by large earthquakes. I was kind of emotionally motivated to understand of what can I do to help understand earthquakes and their effects on populations and communities. I'm a seismologist working for the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation at the Technical Service Center, but the specific group that I'm working with is the seismology and geomorphology group. What I'm working on is evaluating the seismic hazard that earthquakes might pose to dams throughout the country, but largely the Western United States. I'm a former Ceres postdoc fellow. Ceres is the Cooperative Institute for Research in Environmental Sciences. I was involved in two major projects at Ceres. Both projects surround the application of DAS, or Distributed Acoustic Sensing, in studying earthquakes and other natural processes. The first project I worked on involved deploying DAS or a fiber optic cable along the surface at a geothermal facility in Milford, Utah. It was the first time that surface DAS was able to detect events from the surface in this particular context where fractures are being created for geothermal development. Kind of simultaneously, we were preparing for this second project, which required us not installing the fiber ourselves, but tapping into pre-existing fiber already deployed by a telecommunication company. These telecommunication fibers are also referred to as dark fiber because they're unused or unlit, are actually in many places across the country and across the world, both on land and along the seafloor. We were able to find fiber in Northwest Washington, which is right above the Cascadia subduction zone, a major fault that is anticipated to rupture eventually in a very large and damaging earthquake. The specific target of that experiment was to see if fiber can detect these weak signals at greater depths below the segment of the fault that's anticipated to rupture. He's detected tremor in the Pacific Northwest for the first time using this kind of technology, and so this can improve the monitoring of those kind of events and have us better understand subduction zone processes. For both projects, the big question is to understand what DAS can do because the technique has actually been around for just over a decade, first used by oil and gas applications, but it is fairly new to the earth sciences and especially specifically to seismology. What excites me the most is that there's so many problems that we can probably find new solutions to through it. Matt is an outstanding early career researcher because of his innovation and contributions in the area of distributed acoustic sensing. It's a new technology that is just cutting edge and he's one of the leaders in this area. The most outstanding thing about him is his passion for the subject. He's very passionate. He knows that science is better when we have more people collaborating on the same subject. When I started my postdoc, I was very fortunate enough to work with students, both undergrad and graduate students, and not only help them with their research, but also kind of provide them with you know these lectures on seismology and DAS. Matt got me into the field that I'm working in right now. One of the things that he worked on with me, which was really useful to my career, was that he made me explain scientific papers to him every week. Part of his philosophy was that you learn the most by teaching, so I would teach it back to him and then we would discuss gaps or questions I had afterwards. And I think that really helps me not only understand the research that I was delving into, but also develop my confidence to talk on subjects that I had learned about as well. To me, it's very important that I help promote equity and inclusion, especially for students at varying levels in their education. So that way they can pursue whatever dreams that they may have in the earth sciences and other fields. When I was in fifth grade, when I was about 10 years old, there were life circumstances, we'll say, that led to me and my mother and my two younger siblings to becoming homeless. Because of my life situation, being homeless, and the instability that came with it, I struggled a lot in high school. So when I went to community college, I actually placed in elementary English and math courses. So I had to work really hard to become a better student, a better learner. It's very nice to be recognized by this award, what I have accomplished, especially more recently, but it also reflects what I have overcome. Mm -hmm.